In Commitment 2022, every election season, we want you to get to know each candidate's positions on the most pressing issues. This morning, we're hearing from the candidates in the first congressional district race. We asked, what can immediately be done to stop the flow of illegal fentanyl into the United States? This is a real epidemic and a real tragedy for our state. New Hampshire has obviously been struggling with the opioid epidemic for many years, but we've seen that exacerbated over the past two years under Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and Chris Pappas's leadership. They have allowed for an illegal invasion of our country. More than four million illegal people have come here over the past two years, and we've seen the highest surge of illegal fentanyl in our communities. I'm proud to be supported by our local law enforcement. The New Hampshire Police Association is supporting me, not Chris Pappas, because they know I will stand strong for border security, for law and order, and to end this drug crisis that is killing Granite Staters as, at record rates. And Chris Pappas has done absolutely nothing to speak up against his party leadership to stop it. For this issue alone, Chris Pappas does not deserve re-election. We've got to understand this issue is killing people here in New Hampshire and all across the country. And that's why I've worked in a bipartisan fashion to adopt legislation to go after the cartels and make sure our law enforcement is strong. Uh, I sponsored and passed legislation that was signed into law that would add all fentanyl analogs to Schedule 1 to make sure that we can stay ahead of the cartels that are bringing these deadly substances into the United States. We need to go after China, where these precursor elements are coming from. They're going to Mexico. They're being turned into fentanyl that's coming into our communities. Uh, we also have to make sure that law enforcement is well-resourced at the local level and at the federal level, and that there's cooperation between different levels of government, and I've sponsored legislation on that as well. I'm also leading a bill in the House to take on the issue of fentanyl shipments through the dark web, something that was brought up to me by the police chief in Laconia. So I'll continue to listen to local law enforcement. We've got to do everything we can to stop the supply of these deadly drugs from coming into our communities.